To access Scopus, first log in to the University Portal, then select the Resources tab, and then the A to Z list of online resources link. Choose S from the alphabetical listing, and then the link to Scopus. I'm interested in the importance of nutrition in aquaculture, so I'm going to search for the nutrition idea first, and I'm using the truncation symbol, the asterisk, then use OR to add the synonyms, so for example, OR diet, OR feed, and again using the truncation symbol. In the date range area, I can change the years I'm searching, so I'm going to just search from 2007 onwards. Scopus is a very large database, so I'm going to choose just to search the life sciences section. So I'm going to tick the box next to the other subjects. So I'm only searching for life sciences results and click on search. I've found a good number of results, more than 255,000. To carry on searching, I click on the search link in the top left hand corner. I'll just delete the last search. And now I'm searching for the aquaculture idea. So I'll say aquaculture or Another way to describe that is to say fish culture, and I'm using the double quotes because fish culture is a free search. My settings from before are still there, and click on search. Find around 10,000 results from that last search. Now I want to combine my two search ideas together, so I'm going to continue searching. Click on the search link in the top left. And in the search history area, you can see search 1 was my nutrition idea and search 2 was the aquaculture idea. Then in the combined queries box, I just type the search numbers and I put the mesh sign in front of the set number. So it's search 1 and search 2. I'm using AND to narrow that search, combine those two ideas together and click on search. So now I have around 3000 results. On the left hand side, there are a number of useful options for limiting your search further. So for example, you can limit to a particular subject area, that can be very useful, but I'm going to use the limit by document type and choose the option to limit to find only review articles. So I tick the box next to review, then click on the limit to button. So now I'm finding only review articles from my set of results. So I've found 187 review articles. I'm going to click on the first article there to see the details. This gives me all the reference details and also the abstract, the summary of the article, so that can help me decide whether it's worthwhile reading the full text. Beneath the abstract is a list of the references that appeared at the end of this article. If you remember, this was a review article, so it's very useful to have this bibliography as it will be a list of the key articles for the topic that the review article covered. The check web bridge button is at the top there. If I want to keep a record of any reference, I can choose the add to my list option at the top there. And when I click on add to my list, you'll see there's a little green tick appears, tells me that's been added to a temporary list. Then I can go to the next record, click on the next link at the top there, and I could add this to my list, and so on. Once I've marked all the records that I'm interested in, I go to the my list option at the top. So this is this temporary list of records that I've marked. And then from there, I could choose to print or email those records, but also I have the option to export to reference management software such as RefWorks. I would just tick the all box to select the records of my list and then choose export print or email. Once I've dealt with this temporary list, I can simply delete those records from the list and then choose the search link in the top left to continue searching.